is up guys welcome back to another video where today we're going to be doing a tutorial for once so let's start right off but this is how it's going to look like absolutely beautiful and let's get straight into the tutorial so basically what you're going to start with is delete the scratch cap and paint your paint your car Then you're going to make another sprite where you're just going to get a paintbrush and do like any color dots. Then do another one. Just duplicate this one, the first one that you made. Go onto the arrow and flip vertically. Doesn't want to work. Now? Okay, now it works. So you've got two vertically mirrored dots. That's good. <clears throat> so you're going to start with when flags clicked, forever, go to sprite one, or whatever your car is, and then point in direction, sensing this block. First of all, you're going to go to Sprite 1, and then you're going to pick Direction. It doesn't work vice versa, because, I don't know, just when you pick Stage, it's just this, and then when you pick a Sprite, it's all this. So, make sure that you pick the Sprite first. Then you're going to go ahead and drag that into Sprite 2. And when flag click on sprite one, by the way, do like move two steps or something. <clears throat> then you're going to go and do on this uh, sprite if touching color green or whatever your backdrop color is. Just gonna make one real quick and then just go ahead boop just make a random course okay that one might be a bit too much there we go standard old course and then onto the code if touching the color of whatever you want it to be just make a <clears throat> broadcast message. I'm gonna call it. Wait, which one is this? It's. Hold on. It's the right one, so we need to go left. So I'm gonna broadcast message left. Then you're just gonna copy this into this. Get rid of the other one because you have this, and then broadcast right instead of lift all right so once you've got once you've done that go ahead onto sprite one and <clears throat> get to the block when i receive a message in this case left and right go to motion and turn whatever degrees i'm gonna do five because actually no four because that's probably the optimal speed of the turning <laughs> that sound awkward but whatever 
And to test if this works, I'm just going to do if touching color green, then it should stop all. And I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Set size to like 50. There we go. So I'm going to start right on there. And let's go. Should work now. And then I think I should make it a bit smaller. And point in direction 90. This is not working yet because it's... I made it too big. Okay, that's way too small. Maybe like that. Yeah, that's good. So, this is the turning. It is very simple. And that's one lap. That's it, and there we go. <clears throat> I suggest if you want to hide the dots, then do set ghost effect to 100 on both of the sensors set ghost effect it needs to be set ghost effect not change ghost effect but anyways that's it oh ghost effect to 100 but that's it i'm gonna add a little window because why not and there we go that's the game. Well, not game, it's just an AI. You can add your own race car thing to the creation. Also, that was not English, but whatever. But that's it in this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.